hope you're very well. I'm excited about today. It's all gone well so far. It's day 79. It is 7.32. Coming up on tonight's show, we're going to be talking about the welcome return to tension in the house. It's been a bit too happy in there lately, hasn't it? Hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. They don't even know. They're cheering too loud. They can't even understand what I'm saying. It's been too happy in the house, hasn't it? Yeah. So we're kind of glad tension's back, right? Yeah. Thanks. We're going to be talking about that with glamorous Kirsty Gallagher. She's yeah. pretty late. <laughs> and explaining why the twins could be in double trouble or could be double trouble for the rest of the housemates with her FNS. Yeah. Then Becky and twins. She's exactly like him. Do something like the twins. Oh, the twins. Do that. <laughs> the twins. Oh, brilliant. It's like Fisher Price, my first twin. Oh, look. <laughs> and Mrs. Mature herself, B Team's Nikki, investigates why some men never grow out of their teddy bears. But first, we're going to catch up with all the latest in the house. It's time for Little Brothers Big News. <laughs> right. First things first, me buckos. Last night, after discovering that Carol had hidden a packet of biscuits from Big Brother, the big guy punished everyone by cancelling the luxury food budget. Oh. And putting the housemates on basic rations. Safe to say, this didn't go down too well with, well, anyone. And after a night of food-related arguments between Carol and Jerry, at 10.59am today, it started all over again over a glass of water. Take a look. No, don't put the um, jars, jugs on the table, Patrick. Why not? Because they'll get hot. Well, if they get hot, I'll refill them, but if no, I... No, don't want... do that. Why not? Well, for a start, it's a waste of water. I don't want to argue with you, please. I don't oh. want to argue with you. It's hot on here. Don't want... Yeah, but if don't anybody want wants water, water, I can pour water. You know, people don't want hot water. They said last night they don't it's want not hot water. water. It actually is important oh, well, because fresh water what's on the it. point of putting the fresh cold water? Because we'll probably drink that in about. There. I'll probably drink well, two of them in about two seconds. It wasn't important. Yeah, but you you, why do, you worry yourself about it? Other people might not do. Why are you oh, then I won't let do. them complain. If whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm getting myself in a She's cracking up in there, isn't she? Yeah. Every day, she's crying. It's unbelievable. At 12.21 uh, today, a hungry Liam and Ziggy came up with a desperate plan to get hold of what little food Jonty had. Take a look at this. Who should we take? Take Cara. Should we take Cara? No. No. I should take Jonty. Yeah. Let's take this one. Right, I'll go to <laughs> 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 I don't know about you, but I think Jonty enjoyed that a little bit too much. <laughs> when they got him on the bed, he was like, OK, you can hit me now. Uh, at 1.59pm today, Big Brother called the two furriest housemates to the diary room. Take a look. This is Big Brother. Would Monkety Tunkety and Freddy come to the diary room? <laughs> What's all that? That's funny. <laughs> Hello, Hello. Monkety Tunkety and Freddy. Hello, big brother. At last, you've summoned me instead of this big fat idiot. You're always summoning him. You've never summoned me before. I'm the most important person in the house. Wound. Freddy doesn't speak. <laughs> he's a spectator, but you know, he says hi. Jerry and John T. Big brother wants to speak to Monkety Tunkety and Freddy in private. Okay. Here. Very, very sensible. Cover your ears. Would you like us to leave them in here? If you could, John T. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh, you can talk to Big Brother by yourself. Quite right. Ooh. You can start speaking more. OK. <laughs> uh, now, this is all part of a task in which the housemates have to identify where Monkety Tunkety and Freddie have been on holiday by guessing uh, from clues on postcards. So far, they've been to LA, Blackpool and Pisa. More news after it happens tomorrow. That was Little Brothers Big News. <laughs> I'd better get over here. Now, if you'd like to garnish the end of the show with your delectable diatribes, then here's how to get in touch. Give us a call. Nail it, Leon. 
Thank you, my love. 0871 200 1040. Text studio and that comment of yours to 83188 or email us via the Channel 4 website, channel4.com forward slash BBLB. Now, the housemates have had their luxury shopping budget taken away from them. So, with that in mind, they face a second week on basic rations. We therefore want to know, Leon, nail it. <gasps> Who will suffer the most from the lack of food in the house and why? Look at it, it's a cupboard, it's bare. Just in case you don't get Leon's little drawings today. It's a cupboard, it's a cobweb in it, it's bare. Well done, Leon. <laughs> get your texts and emails coming in. Bare cupboard. Uh, now, here to discuss her least favourite housemates and give... Yes, least favourite housemates and give us her thoughts on the latest uh, food crisis to hit the house is a lady who's no stranger to the competition. Winning the games wasn't enough. She had to go and bloom and well present it. It's the beautiful Kirsty Gallagher! <laughs> Hello, my love. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? Nice to see you. You too. So, are you getting into this? Well, I mean, we've only got two weeks left, but are you into this series? Yeah, very much so. It took me a while. Yeah. I have to say, it took How me many a few weeks? weeks. Oh, oh, it took me. It's always three. Four, five. Four. I just didn't really. Um, I don't know. I just didn't warm to a few of the characters, and then. A lot of them have come out of their shells get, now, yeah, and I, I love it. How do you get into it after four weeks? I don't think I'd be able to do that. Well, I just it's like Catholicism. I've got you, to be in you there. You try, from the start. you watch it, and then you have a break, and then you try, and then you eventually you latch on. Interesting. That's okay. my tip. So, who you're liking and who aren't you liking in there? Right. Love? Okay. I like a lot. There's that little cluster: Liam, Brian, the twins, Ziggy. It Absolutely looks like it's between, though, lot. certainly the three yeah. of them, I, yeah. I guess. OK, yeah, more that's... interestingly, then, who... Because everyone's liking them. Who mm -hmm. aren't you liking? I know, I'm, I'm picking the boring lot, really, aren't I? But it's fine. I'm being boring, rather. OK, um, I, I haven't warmed to Tracy. OK, we don't like Tracy. You're here to talk about Tracy. I want to get you taken this, Thursday. At the start of the week, the housemates were raving about how much uh, they liked her in the house. We did mm. an item with her friends and family about how she turned it around. She was one of the favourites, yada, yada, yada. Since then, things seem to be taking a turn for the worse. I want to get your take. Take a look at this. I've grown closer to Tracy. And a bit of her mentality's rubbed off on me. Tracy's like our new clay pal. <laughs> Still here to have it. And that's what I'm doing, having it. Are you 31 years old? Yes. <laughs> Do you think Ziggy and Chanel's relationship was genuine? No. Look at Jerry, you'd lied to me for 11 weeks, man, so... I don't know why you're lying to you. You're a hypocrite, that's Stand why. Down. Yeah, Stand you're a down. hypocrite. That's what you are, and guys. Come on, man. You have not lied in this house at all. It's so on and off, Zig. It weren't real. That's not right, Tracy. I, let, I know how Chanel left this house. And how's that? In a horrid way, mate. She walked out. Well, she, she was with Nikki and Charlie that week, yeah? That's a contradiction. And she's adapted terms, herself she's very, very easy, easy to the situation. She didn't Just like everyone else has. You know what, if there was someone here for her, then she probably would have gone for it as well. And, and, and I wouldn't have called her fake. Okay. You have to understand, she's here to win. She does not like Brian at all. He's, he's a very, very good actress in that way. Right, you're not a big fan of her, but why do you think she's fallen out with everyone mm. again? Um, well, I don't know, really. Be I, honest, I, I don't know. I, listen, I've never really felt that she's... I don't feel I know her at all. And I don't think anyone feels they know her, because she seems to turn on everyone. Mm -hmm. And I think once, once they're almost she befriends someone, suddenly then something riles her. I mean, who cares if he's lied about his age, Jerry? I, I mean, think it's a funny. strange don't point to pick funny. up on, I agree, because it's... it's it's not really deceit. It's not done anything no, to her. It's not affecting her directly. And I don't see... I mean, I'm 31. I find it hilarious. I'd love to be younger. Never. Yes. <laughs> um, I do you think she behaved like this if she wasn't a guru? Because, therefore, she's safe from eviction. This yes, way. I think there is an element of that. She, she, she feels she's safe, so she's able to just be... I think she's quite, she's quite sour, I think, often. I'm sure she's a lovely person, but really. Always, but always the way... The way Big Brother always is, those mm. last two weeks, everyone goes, yeah. well, you kind of know who's won and people sort of relax. But well, also, real characters start to come yeah. out because people know they're not going to go. I think it's very hard, generally. I mean, it, everyone's getting a bit tetchy. They've got no food. They've hardly got any food. Mm. And they're all just... It's, it's just very hard now mm. for them, isn't it? Well, we want to move on to this. <gasps> Talking Ooh. of food, well done. Ooh. Last night, tension returned to the house when Big Brother cancelled the luxury shopping budget due to Biscuit Gate. <laughs> And here it is, indeed is Biscuit Gate. It's, we, we've sort of mocked it up. Um, oh, brilliant. We, uh, we have a gate here made out of biscuits. <laughs> Real ones. It was funny at two o'clock. Now, <laughs> the housemates weren't happy about this. Take a look. You have a custard cream with some glue on it. Am I allowed to? Mm. Carol, 
housemates will now receive a basic budget of just £70. OK. Big Brother hopes the biscuits were worth it. Hi, um, I'll be honest with you, my time here will probably be extremely limited this week and I can see myself leaving big time. But we've got to eat and I haven't eaten properly for a week now. I'm, I'm a, a lad and I, I eat a lot. Siggy! Yes! Have you got the shopping list? Yeah, one second! Oh. Say, starving, starving, starving. Well, You're not all, starving because this... you don't know what bloody starving is, Jerry. You might be hungry, but you're not starving. <laughs> what am I going to do with all that flora? Oh. <laughs> so the shame. shopping list includes now 20 packs of spaghetti, 29 loads of bread, 19 packets of biscuits, so it looks like uh, Biscuit Gate. <laughs> <laughs> Two o'clock gag. Could run and run. How about that? <laughs> More from Biscuit Gate as and when we get it. Ziggy sort of went, like he went very kind of mad there, didn't he? Mm. I mean, uh, who do you think will suffer most from, from the lack of food? I guess it's the boys. The boys, it? the big big boys. Well, Liam, Brian, and and Ziggy, but possibly Jerry. Well, Je obviously, Jerry just will argue about anything, really, won't yeah. he? Yeah. But um... this is the big thing about the show, though. This, like everyone always you know, has a go at Big Brother, and I always defend it to the hill. But the thing about f it's food is quite, it is quite cruel. Well, but the thing is, remember, this is all they've got. The only pleasure in life they've got at the moment is food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it. food, food. <laughs> yeah, I've got it all over my fingers. And lastly, and, my And role. that's sort of ruling their, their life. So, I suppose they're, they're getting, yeah, touch for that reason, sure. I suppose. And lastly, Hunt, who do you want to go on Friday and mm, why? Right, I've got to say it. I feel bad saying this, actually, no, but it has to be one of the new people. Why? Because I, I just don't feel... I mean... I have to say, I think it's Cara Louise. Cara Louise. I like her. Lovely girl. Beautiful girl. Yeah. I don't think she brings a lot to the house, whereas I think John T's quite amusing. He um, certainly fitted in more. Isn't he's it? definitely... I mean, he's befriended a few of them and he's in there, isn't he? But Cara Louise, we, she's, we, she's always on the periphery of everything, isn't sure. she? So... Okay. Brilliant. Uh, brilliant. Thanks a lot. Kirsty, everyone. Thank you. More from George after the break. So, Carol, uh, Brian, Jerry, Jensi, Carlos, and Liam all face a public vote this week. On Friday, the names of the two housemates with the most votes, get away from me, will be announced uh, to the house. The gurus will then decide live which one of them is evicted. These are the numbers you need. Two vote for Brian, call 0 no, no, double one, 21 22 16. To vote for Carol, call 09011-212202. To vote for Jerry, call 09011-212213. To vote for Jonty, call 09011-212221. To vote for Carol Louise, call 09011-212222. Two vote for Liam, call 09011 21 22 18. No. She's not, I think she's changed her mind. No, I um, we're just you, have. you said Jerry. No, I think he might go, but I don't want him to go. OK. Fine. Yeah. Well, don't give me that look. Yeah. <laughs> Scary. At least 10 people from each call will be donated to charity details, which can be found at channel4.com forward slash big brother. Still to come, B Team's Nikki investigates the relationship between teddy bears and grower men. And the twins F and F will be here. <laughs> twins. Demo. Uh, they'll be here to discuss whether two is better than one. We'll see you after the break. <laughs> Welcome back. It's day 79. It's 7.50. Coming up, let's go that way. B-team's Nikki uh, is off on a teddy bear's picnic, minus the picnic, and you have your say in today's big shout. But first, as individuals, it seems the twins were always going to be contenders for a place in the final week. Since joining forces to become one housemate, they have suddenly emerged as a force to be reckoned with. Here to talk us through their twins' formation... <laughs> Thanks, baby. You got my back. <laughs> ..is their friend Becky and little sister Claire! <laughs> <laughs> nice to have you with us, girls. You well? Yeah, yeah. thank you. Oh, brilliant. Okay, first things first. Are you surprised that the twins uh, defo chose to be one housemate? 
No, not at all. Cause Why? I, just cos, like, they went in the house together, so they need to come out together, and I don't think they'd want to leave the house separately. Mm -hmm. So, and I reckon they think they are, like, stronger as a unit rather than separately. What do you reckon, Claire? It's fair, like, as the years one, because if they're just, like, two, like, you've got to pick a, which one to go off. Yeah, but and with it's, one, like, just it's a bit easier. Yeah, it's If you had to vote for one of them, <laughs> come out with one of them. <laughs> go I'm on. Oh, go on! Tell yeah. us, Claire. Go it's on! Mean. Which one's mean, meaner to you at home? Mandy. Is she? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Why? I don't know. Go on, go on. Will she steal your stuff? No. Yeah, she does, doesn't she? she does. What does she mean to you? She just does. She Sounds just more does. nice. Okay, tell me later. <laughs> Sounds more nice. <laughs> Outside the house, uh, are they seen as are they preferred to be seen as one person or two persons? Well, when they were younger, they used to hate to be called like the twins and everything. And they used to have a hair different, didn't they? Yeah, yeah but now, like, as they've grown older, they kind of like it, cos they, yeah. they kind of use it, cos, like, we go out and stuff, and they'll end up getting them free, cos, like, there's two of them, and everyone's, like, dead amazed, like, oh, the twins. Yeah. So they kind of, like, use it to their advantage. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, no-one's seen twins before, No, but they're just, like, dead amazed, cos it's just, like, I don't know, it's just... They're just good and, like, they can blag the way into stuff because there's two of them. Right. <laughs> now, they've been overjoyed at becoming one housemate. They were soon to find out it wasn't all plain sailing. Take a look at this, girls. We want to be as... What? what? I'm sticking with you. Because there's one housemate! I'm made out of glue. It's like got a little twin next to me. <laughs> Always and forever. We've only been on a buzz on our own once. Oh, you're one housemate now, it's Amanda. And we Thank took a helmet off. No one ever said that being one housemate would be easy. <laughs> I love it. Being weird, you are, Sam. I'm you're being weird. Time. I'm sorry, but aren't we allowed to have three meals a day? Dinner time is now. Yes. Well, you could ride it a little bit later, seeing as you just had chips before you did that task. No, actually, I had one piece of bread. One yes, piece exactly. of bread. And you had cereal before that. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Two questions. Did you understand a word of what they just said? <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and did they argue at, at home a lot? All the time. Do they? Whenever they're getting ready to go out, they're who, always arguing. Who normally wins the argument? Um, it depends. Normally, yeah. when like they're arguing in front of me, they'll get um, they'll get each other. They'll be like, try get. They'll go, oh, Becky, take my side, no, and I'll yeah, be yeah. like, no, I'm not taking sides. And then what? What are they like? They're just like they could, like get over it straight away. Yeah, they what don't. Are you, they, what are you like? I'm just like, oh, oh not I'm getting involved. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> it's quite funny. Um, <laughs> I'm surprised though. They don't argue much in the house. Why is that? Um, I, I just I don't know. I think because like. Obviously, everyone else is strange, so they come to get to know everyone, but yeah. they're, like, they're together, so they've always known each other, so I feel as though they don't want to argue with each other as mm. such. So they're like with each other rather than against each other, as sure. they would be at home. Two really quick questions. Ryan and Amanda, yay or nay? I don't know. Just say yay or nay. Yay. 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 <laughs> and do you think they can win? Yeah. I hope so. Now yeah. that the has won. Brilliant. Right, thanks a <laughs> Becky and Claire, everyone! <laughs> All right. Now, uh, do you remember your best friend as a child, the one who was always there to offer you a cuddle and was happy to live with a ridiculous name? I'm not talking about your au pair. Oh, but Stephanie, God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll always have Vienna. Uh, we are talking about your teddy bear, of course, as well as Johnty and Jerry. They have proven some people never go out of their bears. We sent B-team's Nikki to find out why. Take a look. Today I've come to the Museum of Childhood to find out why grown men such as Jerry and Jonty still own cuddly toys. Would you think it was awfully strange if you saw a grown man walking around hugging a teddy bear? Yes, I would. I think he would be short of a few screws or something. Only cuddly doll I've got is my wife. I think everybody loves a bear, don't they? So I don't, I don't think men are any different in that respect. Well, I've got a brother. He still likes teddy bears, so... And how old's he? Uh, 39. He's not called Jonty or Jerry, is he? No, he's not. 
They're my absolute favourite childhood toys and I got the moles, the ducks, the owls, the hedgehogs, the badgers. Oh, strawberry shortcake! I'm now joined by Dan Agnew from Christie's, who knows all about bears. So why do you think people like Jerry and Jonty have these attachments to their teddy bears? They perhaps have a familiar smell about them that they, you know, remember, you know, from childhood, but, you know... They probably stink. Well, hopefully they've had an occasional wash, but, I mean, it's, it's a comforting thing, I would have thought. So to conclude, it's really not that abnormal for Jerry and Jonty to own bears. It's when they start talking to them that something's not right. What do you think? Yeah, back over to you, Dermot. Thanks, Mickey. OK, uh, Kirsten's joined us for today's big show. Earlier we asked you who will suffer the most from lack of food in the house and why. Brenda from Lincoln's first up. Hello, Brenda. Hello, Dermot. What do you reckon, Brenda? I think Brian, he was eating scraps of cheese yesterday. He tried his best to get some noodles from Carol's shopping list mm. without success. And I love the way he controls his anger by pacing up and down outside. Absolutely. Quite do you right. think that the lack of food could be the undoing of Brian? Kirsten? Yes, I do, love, yeah. I mean, he, he even <laughs> offers his tobacco up for food. Thanks, Brenda. <laughs> Bye, Kirsty. lovely. Bye. Bye, <laughs> love. Bye. Oh, she is lovely. I don't think it'll be the undoing of Brian, no. OK, no. Nope. Hey, Dermot, I think Ziggy and Lynn will suffer the most. Yep. Uh, they love food. Ziggy yep. said it was a uh, commit to the sin of gluttony, says Bill Gregson. That is pretty much it for tonight. Thanks to all our guests. We are back tomorrow, same place, same time, 7.30, with Rugby World Cup when it's here on Bracken. Oh, uh, Ladies in the house tonight, 9 o'clock, then Pete Burns, E4 at 10 o'clock. See you tomorrow. Bye.